Greetings fans, hyper fans and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. At the beginning of lockdown I did a quick review of the Hire Toys Predator figure. When shops opened up again I looked at the Lennard Toys Aliens. And now that it's been made legal for more than six people to gather, maybe it's time we start to look at the future of law enforcement. So I hadn't heard of Hire Toys until I picked up the Predator at Liverpool Comic Con, but when I looked at their upcoming products I saw that they were doing a Robocop and thought That are alive, you are coming with me! Even to the extent that I packed up my Necro Robocop and sold it off in order to fund this, because again these are not cheap figures. Um, despite practically being the same size as your standard Star Wars figure, this costs about £25. They are supposed to be high-end ultimate collector figures. We shall see. The box is kind of interesting. It is a carded figure in a collectible shipper. And unfortunately I've also got a stock label stuck to the top. Now I'm not by any means a box collector. So this isn't as important to me as it may be for other people. But it looks like it's their compromise between people who just want to get the toy out and play with it and people who keep their toys mint in packaging. Um, there is a sticker seal which you will have to break open. And on the card we have a nice photo of Robo. Um, accessories, we've got the alternate hands, the Auto 9 weapon, um, ch -ch -ch the clips to connect the bases, and of course another street base. So I can connect these two together. The back of the package, um, another barcode, so I maybe they are selling these on the peg somewhere. It's actually punched for pegs. Minimum information, address in Shanghai, and a couple of photos. Okay, so let's open this exquisite mini Robocop. So to start with, he's really lovely. Um, the proportions are excellent. The articulation is, as with the Predator, really nice. Um, the paint is a little bit weird. It's a very, very shiny silver. It has almost sort of a pinkish red hue to it. The face painting is lovely although you can see a little bit of the mold mark on the helmet. The feet actually have working pistons. I say working whilst one of them is nice and smooth the other one is a little bit janky. Okay and yep they actually do have metal pins holding them in at the feet the arms don't come out that far but then again they didn't on the original costume the black is a real mix of textures um, everything down the middle is super shiny the hands are a more matte the stand uh, a nice broken up tile scene plugs in pretty well let's see if we can get a decent pose out of him he seems a lot shorter than the predator from the same manufacturer yeah good half a head shorter there let's bring in some other figures for size comparison there was the Lennard custom cane Cobra Commander the original Black Series Darth Vader. So he's actually a little bit undersized. Um, yeah, he's, he's short and Vader. He's a little bit short and Cobra Commander. That's a bit disappointing. I'd have expected him to be at least eye to eye with the Predator. And I have to say that's a little bit of a shame. But let's press on. I mean, obviously these figures are meant to be displayed together 
uh, included are a couple of these little H-shaped connectors, which somebody did point out to me are the same shape as the company's logo, so that's kind of a nice touch. And I suppose the idea is that you can tile together your own 90s Dark Horse comic crossovers. Uh, they actually do a really nice armoured Batman, but hopefully he's a little bit taller than this. Uh, he comes with two alternate hands, both for the right hand. He comes with a trigger finger hand, which can be used to hold the included pistol. The pistol itself is really nicely detailed, no paint accents. It looks quite fragile and it scared the life out of me actually trying to get it held in the hand. And it also comes with the data spike hand, which Robocop uses to interact with the police computer. Um, even though this is made for an adult collector, this is very soft, bendy plastic and kind of came deformed out of the box. I would have much preferred a metal spike on that. I may actually have a look at I think there was a company that did some um, metal claws for the Marvel Legends Wolverine figures. Um, and I might just get one of those for it. So, tiny ball joint, tiny socket in the hand, and... <sighs> Absolute terror of the hand falling off. I hadn't even done anything with this hand. Um, the movement is on just that ball joint. And there's a little bit of gap there, which is just going to annoy me. It really is. As well as the original Robocop, Higher Toys are also doing a Battle Damage Robocop 2, a Flight Pack version of Robocop 3, and are also doing an Edto 9 to scale. I bought the first Robocop thinking that it was going to be the best looking of the bunch, but having seen this one in hand, I'd probably have taken a punt on Robocop 3. Higher Toys really impressed me with their Predator figure, but I have to say that the Robocop figure, while excellently sculpted, featuring the same level of articulation, just seems to fall a little bit short. I don't know whether it's because I spent twice the amount of money on it, I don't know if it's because he's coming out a tiny bit on the short side. The one saving grace for this though is that my Ed 9 is the original Kenner figure, who always seems a little bit undersized compared to the 5.5 inch Robo. Here he scales really nicely and it may inspire me to actually detail this guy up. I'm still glad that I made the switch from my NECA figure and whilst you get more plastic for the money with the NECA, I really think that the sculpt and the movement on this just make it a better figure. He's not perfect, but if you're taking one of the iconic heroes of the 80s and shrinking it down to the size of a G.I. Joe, there will be trouble. These figures are available in the UK from Zavi if you can't get it anywhere else. They're a fair price on eBay and I'm sure they'll be showing up at geek stores near you soon. Whilst I think £25 is asking a little bit too much for him, if you manage to find him at £15... <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video, I've been Macula, this has been Higher Toys Robocop, and until next time, if you're keeping your toys mint in package, you're not a toy collector, you're a box collector. And if I'm making these videos, the least you can do is hit the subscribe button. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what it says, Mr. Kitty.